Speaking of like saying ridiculous things on your show, like like really offensive things. You remember the one episode of um, Game Grumps? They're talking about like what should we call our fan base? Should we call them like Grumpettes or just fans or lovelies or what? And you, G1. Do you know what? Um, do, you, do you know what John suggested they call them? What? Come faggots. <laughs> Uh -huh. You didn't see that one? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm sure, I'll remember that part. Oh, oh I didn't even notice that guy. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's 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 a ruse. You blend it in with the bookshelves. See ya. So, what would you call our fans, Dev? Oh, well, we already called them something. We called them the SF Bros. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. God. Well, but does that that doesn't necessarily extend to to this? No, I think it does. What if uh, what if one of one of our more uh, feminist thinking fans is like, well, I don't want to be an. I promise you, there's no after Gamergate. <laughs> oh yeah. There are no feminists who enjoy our show. Well, it depends on the. Well, it depends it depend on Jerome J. Nineteen. Alright. I have been standing outside the dungeon gate for longer than I care to admit. I could have just finally been sapped, but I have spied the monsters below, and they make my previous struggles laughable in comparison. I must steal myself, I must focus. There is so little light down there, I feel that I may lose myself in the Maya. In the what? The Maya. The Maya's, not, the Maya's the tower, not the dungeon. Is it? Oh, sh oh no, the, uh, the, the darkness, the deep darkness. I'm gonna fight the dinosaur. Oh, there we go! Oh, okay. Wow. Um. That's a that's a normal enemy. Yeah. Shit. We need more more equipment, more health, man, for this area. Oh yeah. yeah. Get the, dude, just get the fuck out. Nope. Dio doesn't run from a challenge. Uh, what? Did you Oops. reference? What? Did you say Dio doesn't? Oh, no, Devo. I said Devo. Oh god. Dio? Yeah. <laughs> it was me, Dio. <laughs> oh. Like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna salute. That With was. My bow. I lost one third of my health just walking around in that area. We are not, not, not ready at all. Here's something that I heard that was interesting. Um, who was it? It was an actor. I forget which actor. This, well, it's telling what they said. Maybe I could figure it out. He made a, an edit. He edited. Top of Grace. The three. Top of Grace. No. Top of Grace. The three, the three prequels? Yeah, yeah, the prequels. Tom Grace. Who's that? I know he's an actor, but like, what he do you play? He played Eric on that 70 show. He was also Eddie Brock slash Venom in Spider-Man 3. Right, 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 right. Yeah, it's Topher Grace. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, him of all Topher people. Grace. Okay, Topher. That's, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Topher, get the fuck out. Yeah, well, it was Topher Grace, yeah. Yeah, he did it. Yeah, like, that's, like, he's the last guy I would have thought to ever do that. I know. He doesn't necessarily come across as that much of a geek, but uh, apparently he's a huge Star Wars fan. And again, like, is Star Wars really that geeky? Because, okay, I was talking to him. Well, uh, yes, yes, it still is. Okay, well, oh. I was talking to um, one of the, he's like a vendor at, at my job. Like, he, uh, he works for a company that supplies us with the majority of our stuff. And uh, and we were talking about, like, uh, somehow, like, I think uh, Lord of the Rings got mentioned. And he's like, oh, man, I can't stand that stuff. Like, I, I just can't get into it. It's like, my son, my son likes it, but I just can't. I said, well, okay, well, do you at least like Star Wars or Trek? I was like, yes, Star Wars, of course. How am I supposed to? Everyone, he's like everyone. Everyone likes Star Wars, except for except that there's only three movies. The rest of them don't exist. <laughs> it's so true. I beat this boss. And I got MP plus five. That was a pretty easy boss, though. It was actually pretty hard. I just had to learn the pattern. Oh, well, it looked like you were doing pretty easily. You did okay. It's good. It's good. Where are you? Yeah, twenties. So there is meaning to life after all. Uh, no. <laughs> it's all about gold. <laughs> it's all about the gold. You beat it all. Yeah, you kill all the animals. Like, I guess you have to be a, a dwarf to go underneath. Or... No, you have to have the, uh, the chakram. Uh, yes. So you just have the skith. So yeah, he he did that edit, and apparently it's like the best best edit. Like, have you seen it? No, I haven't. I didn't think it was even released yet. We can watch it later. Narwhal. I like lamprey. Have you ever seen a lamprey? Pretty gross. No, but I like his music. Okay. Do you like it? Yeah, it seems pretty active. It seems like it seems pretty Mega Man. That's why they chose it. 
know it's not your favorite platform. No, it's not. It really isn't. It's good though. It's still top tier, but Mario's a better platform. Da, 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 da. You know what? This song is it depends on which Mario. It, it really awesome. does depend on which Mario, but I mean if I have to save her. No oh, man, I really I really like Donkey Kong though. I like Donkey Kong Country. Yeah? Yeah. Fire we've been over now. We've been over this. I already Not said you show though. Yeah, I said you was your time. Yeah, we talked about it with Al uh, during one of our Smash Bros. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you and Al were arguing over uh, Mario vs. Mega Man. You guys couldn't come to consensus at all. <laughs> then again, some people can't really argue without being obstinate as hell. Now I I, I, stand, I, I stand by because Mario games are so much bigger. Mega Man is like... It's linear. It's super linear. It's linear, it's eight stages, it's beat the boss, get the item, and then just do rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. It's a good game. It's really well made. But it does not have the length of, of Mario. You know, it does not have... You know, uh, Mighty Number no. 9 might be... It might be a step in the right direction. Dude, have you heard about Mighty Number no. 9? Um, not lately. I've not... <laughs> I've not, I've not uh, heard. They got in on the Gamergate thing. People oh. who donated to, to their Kickstarter... Yeah. And also supported Gamergate publicly because you had to give them your Twitter account and whatever. Yeah. They basically kicked out of the community. Really? Yeah. You mean, even if you donated, like you donated to access their forums, and you didn't break any rules, you just don't, you just supported Gamergate, they just kicked you out. Wow, that's pretty lame. Well, dude, um. Wait, to, way to go, Mufune. No, no, see, a social justice warrior. Oh, wait, no, not Mufune. Sorry. Who's, who's the Mega Man guy? It's Inafune. Inafune, yeah, Shinji Inafune, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, man, like, there was a social justice warrior who was hired because she was dating a Japanese guy who worked on, on it. She became their, their creative, their, their, uh, their character manager. <laughs> no, no, she became, Resident bitch. She became their, their, um, what was it? Their community manager and later character designer. She wanted to make all the characters women. She wanted to say, oh, I'll just make it, make it about all girls. Uh, but she, she got vetoed, thankfully. Yeah. Have a mix. A mix is always good. I mean, I, 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 I'd rather not have all male characters again, because that's bland. It's the same thing over yeah. and over again. And that's what Mega Man, again, like you said, yeah. it's very cookie cutter. Even the X series, which is vastly superior to the original ones, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. still had that same kind of, had that detriment. Well, no, because all, all the robot masters were genderless. They're all animals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's true. Hmm. Except for, yeah, and then you got to um, Sigma. Yeah. Who, of course, was, yeah, definitely. Of course, okay, first off, the idea of gendered robots is ridiculous. They're they're all genderless in the end anyway. Yeah, I know, but it's <laughs> the chassis, right? It's... Oh, God. You sure you want to do this? Nope. Eh, you're fucked. I can't didn't, do didn't that. Did I do that one once? No, you, you did the one that, that didn't have the bumper. Yeah, okay. She, she, uh, she demanded that shit, but like she got the job because of uh, nepotism, because her boyfriend was already on the staff, and she's like, I can't believe I'm, I'm on the thing, and then like, basically as soon as she joined, the project went in the fucking shitter. And this Gamergate thing is like only the latest, like, she, she, and, and her boyfriend, like, cause she, like, he, I, I doubt he actually believes it, he's just kind of doing it to keep the peace in the relationship. They basically killed the project, and like, wow. Inafune is just like, oh, well, what? like he. What really? Is that much of it? No, he's passive. He, no, he's yeah, he's passive. He's very hands off. He's like, you know, I, I just want to make a game. I don't really care about like the community. Well, no, he's like, no, I do care about the community, but I don't care about how it's managed. I just want to make a video game, man. That's, like, that's all I'm in this for. Oh, he's being he's being super neutral about it. Yeah, he's just staying out of it. Oh, sweet. Embracer's too. Okay, finally upgrades. Oh, going for the boss. Yeah. You yeah, go like, like Alexander. Yeah, but that's, that's basically what what ended up happening with with him. And it's like, dude, things are going to shit around. He's like, uh. he's he's doing the Japanese thing. Yeah, putting his head in the sand. Yeah. Oh, oh. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say you're causing a lot of damage. Huh? I was wrong. Yeah, I, 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 that's, that's, that's just sad. Yeah. Like some fucking white chick just ruins everything. <laughs> Wait, is she white? Yeah, she's white. Oh, yeah. White girl living in Japan. Oh, my God. 
Dude, another white girl living in Japan, like, I just saw this on Facebook recently. A white girl living in Japan was talking about like um, people using waifu. It's like, don't use waifu, it's like, it's like racist against Japanese. And like a Japanese guy on Facebook was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Use waifu all the time. Yeah. Oh. Dude, use your magic. I wanted to save them to for fruces. Oh god. Yeah, man. He's gonna get wild, but... It's a wild party! Look at my friends are here! This is gangster party! Dude, get out! <laughs> Fuck! God! Oh, and they're giving me health with each kill, but it's not enough. I need more. Yeah, you gotta be moving like constantly. It doesn't help much that those guys are pulling out like a thousand bullets. <laughs> this is bullet hell. This this is dungeon crawl bullet hell. I don't know, man. I, I can't help but feel like it just you need a little bit more in order to do this. Oh my god! Get out! <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't boost anymore. Ah! Uh, you know what, I mean? I think you did pretty damn well considering that it's still not quite that. That level. This is the bigger. <gasps> hey guys! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just walking here. <sighs> you should just make a sign. You should make a crosswalk like that. Just have like a giant skeleton instead of like, just a regular guy. Uh, the next episode. Giant skeleton crossing. Dave dies to a fucking slime. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh! Oh! No, oh! No, oh! No, oh! No, oh! No, oh! No, oh! Oh! Shame of fake horror. I wonder what here. What here is it? But it is indeed. Oh, I think it's St. Patrick's Day. It really is. Here on Hotel Gaming, that's the way we go.